and no one ever says it's Islam. It's Islam on a giant jihad march worldwide. When you look at what's happening in Europe, I've got stacks of news articles here. Mainstream news where they admit multi-thousand percent increases in rapes in Germany, Sweden, France, and other areas. And the police on record are ordered to cover up that it's Islamic. Almost all of it. Then they have Swedish ministers come out, I have an article here, and say it's the fault of the Swedes that, 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 that when the Muslims do it, it's not really a big deal. It's bad when Swedes do it, even though Swedes basically don't rape. Leftist politician, it's worse when Swedish men rape women than when migrants do. See, that's the upside down world where, oh, we have a multi-thousand percent rape epidemic, the capital of rape now in Europe. Oh, let's just blame the Swedes. Remember the Green Party came out and blamed German women and the mayor of Cologne blamed the German women? Well, you shouldn't look so sexy, sweetheart. Swedish women now, the police hand out bracelets that say in Swedish, don't touch me. You can't make this stuff up. And they are, oh, oh, oh in the Idaho case the, uh, of the little girl that supposedly got sexually assaulted, the police have come out basically under orders from the city council and said, well, we were told to keep all this secret, but there was an assault. It was sexual, but it wasn't rape. And there were three teenagers or, or, uh, involved or led by one teenager. And, and most of it's true, but the Washington Post said InfoWars is discredited because we linked to a story that basically turned out to be accurate. Idaho refugee rape. Obama justice official threatens Americans who criticize Migrant programs, yeah, they're now saying it's hate speech to say that a lot of these folks are rapists. That's the culture. An unintended woman is fair game. And if a woman can be raped, then they get charged with the rape, not the man. This is the upside-down sicko world. And they had the Washington Post and others over the weekend, countless articles saying that we are the, that, 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 that we created the story and that we were wrong. But then when you read the article, it admits that we were right. But we didn't create the story. 20 girls molested in new Cologne-style attacks in Swedish Rockfest. That's a new one from Friday. That's RT reporting that. They'll probably have the Washington Post say it's my fault, too. They'll just say it's not true when it is, and then say I said it when I didn't. I'm looking at Drudge, Syrian refugee, right little girl at Knife Point, Idaho. All false. And that's the police chief. Then it goes into blaming Drudge, goes into blaming Infowars. Because they go, oh, they were from Iraq and Sudan. But that's what they call all the refugees now is Syrian. They are refugees. They were brought in. They were brought in by the feds. And then you call them Syrian. We're the ones that explain that almost none of them are Syrian. They've been letting less than 1% Christians in when Syria is 20% Christian. Now there's a new statistics out that, well, some of the newer groups, 3% they're letting in because of pressure. So see, that's how the media works. They put the lies out. We expose them. They double back to their own lies like a dog going to its vomit and then say that we're wrong because they're refugees, Muslim refugees, from North Africa, Northeast Africa, and Iraq. Vermont town debates welcome for 100 Syrians as Trump pushes ban. And by the way, that's Bloomberg. When you hear there's 100 coming to your town, 10 times that. That's been the metric in Europe and here. I'm going to explain this very, very slowly. They also claim that we claim in the Washington Post that the numbers are much higher. They did the same thing in Europe where they'd say it was 100,000 a year when it was over a million a year. And Obama claims it's under 100,000, when, ladies and gentlemen, it's tens of thousands in Austin, Texas alone, hundreds per school this year. Over 230 in one year to the high school I graduated from in Northwest Hills, a smaller high school. I called other high schools. So did my other reporters. Every high school is jam-packed 
with Syrian refugees. They're not Syrians, most of them. And most of the refugees aren't children. Most of them are military age men. In 1969, Bill Clinton was expelled from Oxford for raping 19 year old Eileen Wellstone. Read about this and every one of his crimes against women. The Clintons' war on women. In stores now.